Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, we are going to take a look at the Divine Masculine here and see how, you know, the Divine Masculine here is feeling about the Divine Feminine here. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here. Okay, so let's give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming up for you here. Okay, the Queen of Swords. So we see that there is going to be communication between yourself and this person here. There is going to be communication, so expect to hear from them soon, I would say. Okay, you've got the Devil here, the Hierophant. The Three of Swords, the Moon in Reverse, the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay. So this person here. Firstly, the Queen of Swords here. She rules, she wields this intellectual power here over communication here. Um, no one... No one can trick or fool her. That's her energy here. Okay, um, the sword is held in her right hand, which is pointed towards the sky here. This person wants to connect with you, and they're trying to understand something. They're trying to understand something. For some of you, the last time that you spoke here... Or the last time that you were in contact or communication here. I feel like there was either a lot of conflict, a lot of tension here. Or there might have been a lot of misunderstandings or even miscommunications here. I'm seeing there may even have been some distractions here between yourself and this individual. Might have been the involvement of a third party situation here. So expect communication from this person. However, um, I want you to know that there is going to be some frank frankness here. Some, what do I mean by that? I feel like this person is not going to hold back. There is something here that they've been wanting to communicate with yourself. Um, and again, it's just this frankness kind of energy. They're going to be very straightforward, very direct, very to the point here. There's no holding back here. So be careful because this person, you know, this person may say a lot, some of which could hurt you directly because I feel like they could be coming back here and using their words as a weapon. So again, I'm seeing that, you know, um, it can hurt you here. This is someone who wants to win your heart over, though. Okay, with the devil, um, I feel like there is an element um, of... There's a notion of games. Someone here is playing games here. And I do feel like they're trying to win your heart over here. Um, their perspective, though, is very sharp right now. It's very sharp... Um, and because of this very bold and direct energy, they can come across as a little bit intimidating here as well, okay? Um, now, with the devil here, there is a very strong attraction here that uh, I feel like you guys come apart only to come back together here. The devil here um, is indicative here of a very strong and intense attraction here. It could almost feel like you you feel slaves to one another like you feel um there may be an element of fear involved in uh in this connection as well um it's like you can't stray from one another here it's almost like a codependent kind of energy here an obsession a sense of powerless now um i mean looking closely the man and woman here adam and eve don't necessarily look happy here because to me i'm getting that someone's they feel you might be feeling, you might be the one that feels as you're, though your power is being taken away from you by this individual. You feel a sense of powerlessness, like you're a slave to your desires or you're a slave, you know, um, to this person's energy. You feel as though, for, you know, they hold you captive here. It's like, you know, you should walk away, but you choose to stay. Maybe not really willingly, but you feel like there's something here that uh, keeps coming back to you. The other thing that I'm getting here is this person wants uh, this this person wants to keep you there, but I feel like they're not doing a lot to make you stay, right? This person can't shake off. Uh, they can't shake the feeling of thinking about you, of wanting you, desiring you. They just can't shake this feeling. 
truth be told, they want to keep indulging in this feeling. So they want you and they want more of you. They want a connection. They want passion. They want intimacy with you. Um, they do want you. I mean, their intentions here... Um, their intentions here are a bit questionable here. But I feel like when it comes to you, they're unable to control their, their willpower here. They're addicted to you. I'm getting that this individual here, this person feels like you're an addiction that they cannot kick. Okay? Which could be the reason, which could explain someone's feelings of powerlessness or entrapment as well. Um, the Hierophant here, they're coming in with an apology or they do owe you an apology here. Um... I feel like this person's energy, to me right now, they're seeking advice. There is a close connecting energy around them who I feel like is well aware of your situation, is well aware of the if you know the effect that you have on, on them here. And I feel like this person is, um, they're acting as a sounding board is what I'm hearing. Okay, so they're a sounding board. Essentially, this person bounces off advice. Um, and just uh, talks things over here. So they are talking about you. They may not be talking to you, but they most certainly are talking about you here. I'm also getting that what they want essentially is to create a safe space for the two of you to explore this connection here. Um, I, and I'm also getting that uh, there is... An apology needs to be made here. Now, I'm not sure whether this is their energy here or your energy. I'm I'm picking up that it's the Divine Masculine here. And I feel like they need to come in and apologize. Or they need to come in and um, correct a balance or correct a situation here. Um, they want to choose you here. They want to choose you. And right now, I feel like they're drawn to, they're drawn to your energy because there's a safeness. Um, there's a safeness and there's a respect that this person feels for you here as well. Um, the Hierophant could also indicate marriage commitment here. Now with the Three of Swords here, this represents the pain that's been inflicted here. This also brings in a message of rejection, um, heartbreak, separation, sadness, loss, tra trauma or tears. Um, this person is having a hard time um, being apart from you. They're having a hard time, especially when you separated here. This person was struggling here. They were struggling to, they might have walked away here and made it seem like they don't necessarily care or it's not, uh, it hasn't impacted them. But um, I am sensing that this is someone who had a hard time dealing and processing all of those emotions here. I can see that, you know, even now as the energies are being channeled here, they are still overwhelmed with a lot of emotions here. They feel regret. They feel um, rejection. They feel hurt. They feel um, upset here. I'm seeing that this person is crying a lot. Um, not in front of other people because I feel like this is someone who is can be a little bit too proud here. But I am seeing that this is someone who... Um, there's a sadness around this person. That heavy downpour of the rain. That is symbolic of their tears here. Of their loss. The heartbreak that they feel. That's quite a grim situation to the Three of Swords here, right? And it does point to... This person is going through a low point in their life here. And not having you there. Or sort of, you know, uh, the two of you, you know, you may be in communication or you may be around each other, but there's something key that I feel like this person wants more from you here. Also, the message that I'm getting here is I feel like this person should think about things logically and that can minimize their pain. So I am getting that there was uh, something that they did, said, or some of their intentions here have hurt you. Had they thought about it? Had they processed it? You know, had their thought process here been a little bit more logical? I feel like it would have minimized or prevented some of this pain or heartbreak from happening here. But look, they do feel like they're knocked down and they, I feel like this person is uh, currently suffering right now. Something here is extremely hurtful to them here and they're dwelling on it they are they're really dwelling on it here this this separation or this breakup or this conflict here um it does point to a third party situation as well with the three of swords here but again you know people are responsible for their choices here so some of their wounds here still haven't healed 
Now, the other message that I'm getting is that hurt people hurt other people. So they might have hurt you here, but unintentionally. Um, there might have not been that malicious motivation to do so here, but I feel like because they haven't resolved some sort of tra trauma um, from their previous marriage, partnerships, connections, or even um, growing up, you know, uh, from childhood days here, um, because they haven't resolved some sort of trauma or some sort of heartbreak here, I feel like, you know, this person was then uh, unfortunately hurt you. Okay, not because there was that malicious intent or motivation to do so, but because this person lacks that awareness or that understanding of what it is that they're going through as well. Now, the moon in reverse here, there's a lot of fears, deceptions, anxieties, a lot of misunderstandings and misinterpretations between yourself and this individual here. Um, they allowed for their fears, their insecurities, their anxieties here to dictate their actions. Um, and they are regretting here as well. The two of you, they want to get to the bottom of things, okay? And the two of you need to get to the bottom of things here. Um, they are not sure what's the right thing to do. They want to come out and communicate. They want to reach out. They want to come out and see you. They want to... Um, they want to be very open to you. They want to be very honest with you. They want to make progress here, but you know, how? What do they do? Do they pick up the phone? How do they start? Where do they start? If they contact you, will you reject them? Will, you know, will that add to the pain here? Will that just fuel their anger, that hurt, that resentment here? So I f I'm finding that this person is very confused and they cannot find the way. I'm also seeing that there's a despair around this individual. There's a darkness here that seems to... Um, engulf them and I feel like they're trying to find a way out of the situation now this person could also be leaning towards some sort of um, if this person was heavily addicted to some sort of substance and if they tried to walk away they tried to quit I feel like because at this low point in their lives they could then be leaning uh, going back to that substance here as support as a coping mechanism here as so trying to overcome you know th this this dark period in their life here um the moon here indicates that someone here is in, in their intuitive period. So if you have your intuitions or gut instincts about this person, um, the tarot cards are probably telling you that you're right here. There's also self-deception around this person. I feel like some for some of you, this is an individual who was uh, maybe a little bit deluded or who had created some sort of delusions or have created some sort of self-deception here. And as a result, I'm seeing that um, those self-deceptions have only added to that, you know, uh, to that pain and that emotional anguish here as well. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is strongly suggestive that this person is thinking about what will be their next move, okay? Um... They're waiting as well. I feel like this person is waiting for the right time to connect with you, the right moment, the right set of circumstances here. Um, I'm also seeing that this person wants to take responsibility for their actions. They want to apologize. They want to explain. They want to um, They want to put their best step forward. They, they want to put in effort. They want to become the Knight of Pentacles for you, okay? Um, they might have played games in the past, but I feel like this person wants to put an end to it. They want to be that practical, reliable, that, you know, efficient um, hard-working, committed, patient, loyal, dedicated knight of pentacles that you want them to be. They want to be that knight in shining armor. Um, so look, they are thinking about you a lot here. They are thinking about, you know, uh, how they're trying to process a lot. Um, they're, they're not taking a risk, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is someone who doesn't take risks here. He likes to assess things. Um, he can also be very stubborn. So I can see that you are dealing with an energy that, well, simply put, is a little bit stubborn. But I feel like, you know, this is purely to do with the fact that this person wants to... They either have to swallow their pride and then they'll reach out and communicate with you. But again, I warn you, some of that communication is going to be very bold, very frank, very out there, very straightforward. Um... So they're at a point here where I feel like they're trying to really, really analyze their next move. It's like this person is trying to think ahead and this person is trying to um, sort of like flesh out a uh, worst case scenario. Like if they reach out to you and you reject them, how will they respond? What will they say? Um, I feel like this person is really overthinking and overanalyzing things. So do expect to hear from them. Um, and I can see that there is a lot going on with them, but I'm also seeing that there is, um, they will connect with you when the timing feels right for them.
okay or when it feels right for them and when it and when they're ready because the communication that they're coming in with is going to be very raw here you haven't seen them like this before you haven't seen them in this kind of light you haven't seen them being this open this raw this honest this is almost like you know their mask they're willing to take their mask off and they're willing to show you who they really are underneath you know the facade the mask and all Okay, guys, and that is your reading. Thank you all for watching and listening. I do appreciate your time and attention here. If you are interested in personalized reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, do take care. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.